What is up guys? It is your girl Caitlin here and welcome back to another Live Talks with Caitlin. And today's topic, you guys, is going to be some great revelation. And I just want to talk to you guys for like two seconds real quick. So when I said today's topic is going to be revelation, we are going to be talking about the power of taking thought. So you guys, I just want to tell you that the mind is such a powerful thing. And our thoughts control our actions and how we respond to things. All right, guys, that's all I want to tell you guys. I told you it would be like two seconds. So turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 3, and I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 7. So I already got it. So write you out your trusty Bibles, and we're going to be reading. Okay. Okay, Genesis chapter 3, and it reads, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which is the Lord God, which the Lord God has made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have thought said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Yeah, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God do, doth know in the day ye eat there, thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. All right, guys, so let's just go through, and I'm about to teach you guys some good stuff about the power of taking thought. So let's go now to verse, let's see, where do I want to start? Let's just start verse, let's start verse one. Okay, so it says, reads real quick. The serpent was a, a more subtle than any beast in the fields. Okay, so the serpent is the most subtle um, creature in the field, in the earth, in this garden where they were placed. And which the Lord God had made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So the serpent asked the woman, she said, he said, um, should, did God say that you couldn't eat of every tree in the garden, of the garden? And it says, and the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So, if you guys have, um, you know, studied this or learned about this, um, this certain part of the Bible, this certain um, story in the Bible, then you would know that when God was talking to them, he did not tell them that they, he said not to eat it. And he said, but he did not say, do not touch it unless you die. God never said anything about, about touching it. And then, so the serpent answered because he knows, he says, and the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. So he tells them that they, they shall not die. So, for God doth know, verse 5, For God um, doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. But because um, Adam and Eve, man and woman, did not know that they were already made in God's perfect image, then they are already like God because they're made in his perfect image. And they're already just like God, just not knowing good and evil, but they already have everything. They're like, they are perfect. They are literally made in God's image. Everything about them is perfect. So when the serpent says unto them that they shall be as gods, knowing good and evil, and their eyes shall be opened, their eyes shall be open, knowing good and evil. 
but they little did they know that they didn't even already know that they were perfect okay um verse six and when the woman saw the tree was good for food and it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree to be desired to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat so in this context when it says that she took of the fruit and ate many of us think that they took the so-called apple the bible never states it was an apple it was just this tree it wasn't an apple tree we don't know what kind of tree it was but we know it bare fruit but in this case bearing fruit means characteristics and when it says she ate that means she took thought to it so the enemy comes to us in a conversation in our mind the enemy does not stand here in front of us telling us these things or telling us these lies in person no the enemy comes to us in our thoughts and in our minds and in our imagination and in our souls in any layer of our souls so you guys knowing this the God that God um, they are perfect in God's image so the enemy came to try to test their knowledge thinking that they did not know which they were ignorant of not knowing that they were already perfect so the enemy came up against them and well came up against her um, in her mind making her second guess and twist around what kind of like what the Lord was saying and here it says in verse 6 it says she did eat so in this context eating means she took the thought of that we will be knowing good and evil and then so she took it to her husband she took like say like we're talking and um, I take thought, I'd be like, okay, well, yeah, take of the fruit. Okay, all right, I know good and evil now. So she took what, say, what we talked about um, and took it to her husband, which is Adam, and she took it to him, and he also did eat. So he also took thought. So they agreed. Um, two or three in the midst, unless they agreed. Yes, we know that. So, um, yeah, so they agreed. So that is what I wanted to tell you guys. That in this context of the Bible, when it says they did eat, it did not mean physically as if I would take um, this, as I would could take this bowl and eat out of it. Or I take a um, apple off of a tree and eat from it. Or I take grapes from a vine and eat of it. No, in this context, eating meant taking thought, taking the thought of we will know everything and we will be as gods and we'll be knowing good and evil. So guys, that concludes today's Life Talks with Caitlin. I hope you guys learned something and we're going to pray and seal this so that you guys won't lose this knowledge to the enemy. Okay? So Father God, we come to you right now, exalting you and lifting you up, Father God, because you are holy, you are everything, you are Alpha and you are Omega, and you are the beginning and the end. You are everything, you are our Lord, you are our King, you are our Savior. And Father God, we just come to you, and I come on behalf of these people asking that you cover them in their knowledge so that they won't forget it, and that so they can keep this revelation, so they can go and tell others of this revelation that um, you have bestowed unto me to give to them. So, Father God, we just seal it, this prayer right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, guys, so I'm so, so excited about today's um, video. So I am hoping that you guys learned something new from um, today's video. So don't forget to like, comment, and share, and tell me what you thought about today's video. And you already know, guys, until I see you guys next Tuesday at this time at 3 o'clock. Bye!